All of them. Come on up, Maisie Stella. Uh, Aubrey Plaza. Maddie Ziegler. Therese Brooks. Maria Dizia. Percy Hines White. Carter Trisola. And Seth Isaac Johnson. Step on up to that blue line so we can all see you and this picture is being taken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, Megan, I think they liked your movie. Congratulations, again. So um, a few questions from me, and then we're gonna ask you to share in this moment. Um, Megan, um, you told me backstage a little earlier that this is a film that you wrote a couple years ago, is that right? Remind me of the sequence. Yeah, I wrote it pretty quickly after The Fallout, which was my first movie, and on the heels of South By, I met with Lucky Chap, and it's kind of on like a general meeting. And um, kind of, they were like, do you have any other ideas? And I soft pitched them the log line for this, which was a little insane. Um, but they, they were like, we love it, and sort of developed it. And once we started working on it, we wrote the script, um, I wrote the script, and we were up within a year, which was pretty crazy. So it happened quickly. So you had the idea, obviously, before that meeting. Uh, did it come from a specific time or place, or uh, was it something that had been kind of... Everything that happened really happened. <laughs> I think, yeah, I was home after making the fallout. I was in Canada. I was feeling super nostalgic and just kept thinking about this idea, which is in the a scene in the movie of like, oh, there was a time when you went out and did something, like play pretend with your friends, and then you just never did it again. And it made me really emotional. So it kind of started with that thought and being home. And I also really wanted to immerse myself in like a really joyful film and that's something that had a lot of heart, hopefully, and made other people feel nostalgic for an easier, simpler time in their life, because life can be hard and shitty sometimes. <laughs> I wanted to just have sort of a bit of an escape with the film. Great. Um, Maisie and Aubrey, uh, and, and really to everybody on the cast, but I'm going to start with the two of you, uh, tell us about maybe a, a first conversation or early conversations that you had uh, with Megan. Ooh, I started talking to Megan uh, pretty early on, and I just, when I read the script, I was like immediately so attached to it in like a very scary way to be attached to a script like that. I have like learned how to not get attached, but this one was like, it was out of my control. Um, so yeah, I was very, we talked a lot about the script and about, um, you know, being young and figuring out your sexuality, and like she's so open always to like, She's very uh, collaborative on uh, working with like young adults that she wanted it to feel very genuine and very real and I think it did because of your openness to that. And, and I met Maisie because Maisie wrote an amazing song with her sister Lennon for um, my last movie. So I was from, we were familiar with each other through Maddie and stuff, um, but I was thrilled when she came in. I was like, oh, she literally, she's the perfect Elliot. And, and Megan, tell us about Aubrey. Aubrey, tell us about Megan. <laughs> I got a call that Aubrey had read the script and she wanted to FaceTime while I was on the jet ski. Uh, and Tom was like, get off the jet ski. Uh, and then I ran up to my cabin. I think I still have my life jacket on there. I think you did. Yeah, yeah. and we started FaceTiming. But I mean, Aubrey was my dream person for this role. I, I, I mean, Maisie and I are such fangirls. And, and instead of focusing on like, who looks exactly like Maisie, and, to step back and I was like, who do I love for this character? Who can I see playing this? Who's gonna kill it? Who has the same energy? Look at our hair tonight. <laughs> We're really trying to make our own talk about this. <laughs> and then what? I was just lucky that she happened, she liked the script and wanted to do it. Well, I saw Megan's movie The Fallout and I thought it was really, really good. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. It was amazing. And um, I think you were in a life vest and I remember you were just like, it's gonna be chill. I think you used that word. A couple times. Megan is the only director I've ever worked with that's jet skied to work. I've never seen this before. Aubrey up for our first dinner in a paddle boat. That's right. 
She paddled over me, and I sat there for a while, just staring at her, just insane. It took a long time to listen. I was like, what the? What have I got myself into? And I felt like, this is right. There was something about, I don't know, Megan's amazing. There was just something about her, I, I, and the script, obviously, but I love the spirit of the movie, and I love the story, and I think Maisie's incredible, and it, it all just made sense to me. My old ass, I was like, I'm in. <laughs> Megan, it's such a terrific ensemble of performers and actors. Congratulations to all of you. Welcome to Sundance. Uh, Megan, tell us about tell us about uh, collaborating with this with this team, and I'd love to hear from each of you about what drew you to this, to Megan, to the script. I mean, this is like my dream cast. I think they're so amazing. It all came together pretty quickly, honestly. Like, it's just a vibe check, you know, with everybody. <laughs> Maddie and I obviously knew each other. Carice, actually, I was a fan of her dance, um, and I followed her on Instagram, and we had read a lot of people, and I reached out and was like, do you act? I feel like you would just kill it. And she did. <laughs> it's also her first movie, which is insane. <laughs> They were all just lovely humans who responded to the script. Carter did have, Carter, had a viral video in Toronto. He was like the show, the snow shuffling kid who was like complaining in the news about wishing he was at school on a snow day. Which I didn't know until after I passed him, but full of personality. Seth is a dream, Maria's a dream, and Percy I think was amazing and sent him this great tape. And I remember in his slate it like hand down, he was all dressed up and he didn't have any socks or shoes on. And I was like, that's such a Chad move. <laughs> I was like, I think he's the one. Um, and, and once we got everybody together, the chemistry was so amazing. And I just was like, these are my peeps. To whoever wants to jump in, tell us about what drew you to it. Tell us about um, connecting with Megan and the script. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's alright. It's alright. It's in my face now. So, um, pretty much. So, um, pretty much it started. So, it started, um, how I met Megan was, I don't really check Instagram for a phone because it gives me a bit of anxiety because, uh, just scrolling gives me like a lot of like doomsday vibes. And I remember I just randomly like check one day and I saw like a blue check mark and I was like, oh shit, where who's this? And then it was Megan and I was like, oh, and then I told, I think I was like with my friend at the time. I was like, should I be on her? And she was like, don't do it, don't do it. She went on call you. And I was like, if she don't follow me, it's God's plan to be honest. So I of course went to DM her. And I was like, you know, like, I love the fallout and like hopefully I get to work with you one day, but like no pressure, of course, like, you know. Let's just like vibe out and see what happens. And she was like, oh yeah, like of course. Like it was something like that I overthought because like you didn't have any emojis, so I like overthought that. <laughs> but three months later, um, I got pretty much like the audition and then here we are. And um, yeah. But Megan's like before I I don't want to rap too much, but Megan for me, I feel like she came at a time where I was still in uh, acting school and I didn't really, I didn't really think that I could do it because I felt like I didn't have like the bandwidth or the emotions that I felt maybe were needed or I didn't feel like I didn't have the mentality, like I was beating myself up so bad. So when I got the audition, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get this, like let's just have some fun. I think, I say this. Oh, so they don't, I say whatever. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> ah, I took a shot of, uh, that's a good shot of liquor before you That's true. That's fine. Because I was like, I'm not getting it anyway, so like, let's have a party. That's exactly what you guys are Exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, here we are. So, like, no shots in my system, but yeah. Megan just, I don't know. I appreciate, I appreciate Megan seeing me, and, and I didn't even see myself, but, and it's crazy to even see who the hell that was, but it's, I don't know. I don't know if any of this makes sense. Yeah. I just, okay, cool. Yes. I'd love to hear from a couple of uh, more of you just to, to get to know you a little bit, to hear about your connection, your interest. I, mine was slightly different. I obviously worked with Megan before. Maisie and I have been best friends since we were nine. 
Um, and so we always dreamt of doing a movie together, but I don't know if, did you know that? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I just love it. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, we used to watch Grey's Anatomy on FaceTime and do our makeup and be like, oh, I'll get over that. But, and we did. Slightly we did. No, um, <laughs> scaffolds. But I, um, <laughs> so, um, I actually read the script just because I knew they were going to be doing it. And they sent it to me and I, I adored it, but I wasn't supposed to be attached at all. And last minute, like, what was it, like two weeks before filming or something? And he was like, you want to come do it? And I was like, yes. There was, there was not a question in my mind other than yes. So, um. It was kind of the perfect, perfect yes. I was so happy and to work with Maisie and Chris and everyone here is just, just an honor. It was an amazing time. We shared a cabin together. It was awesome. Super thankful to have been a part of it. We're gonna win. Um, I think meeting Megan was really a special experience um, to have at my first movie. Um, for my first film, really, and it was a great experience to work with Megan and work with everyone here. Thank you. you were my favorite character in the movie, by the way. I really liked, when I read the script, how it was like a sci-fi premise, but it was like grounded and natural and like relatable. And you don't see that with like kind of that, that type of premise, you know, like it's like time travel and, but it was just like really touching. And then when I did the screen test, it was almost like with Maisie, like it's almost like we were just having a conversation. Like I forgot I was auditioning and it was, she was just so natural, easy to talk to. And it was just made me feel so comfortable. And I was like, I have to be a part of that movie. And yeah, that was it. Yeah. All right. Let's try to get one, maybe two quick questions in. Let's bring the lights up just a little so we can see all of you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to go right down here. Hi. Compliments on the music, questions about your music choices. The music was good. Um, the score was, uh, the music drops were all actually Canadian artists. Um, that was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, a mix of obviously some old classics and some new artists. So just finding the right fit and um, an amazing group of artists. And um, the score was also amazing and my husband did it. <laughs> <laughs> Some oh yeah, let's do the front row. Yes. Um, okay, so I love this. I also I forgot to take my antidepressants in the morning, so I was sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to talk about the scene, uh, the Justin Bieber scene. Like I love that because I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's so specific to queer women. Like when we see those kind of things in pop culture about like oh like young men catering to women. And it's like, we get it, but it's also that, it's not that we get it because we want to be them, but we want to like 
turn kind of things around, and I love the way you portray that. So I wanted to know how much, like how did you decide to portray that? Also, I have bracelets for all of you. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Handing off some bracelets. And congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, Just thank you, you for seeing. It was um, an intentional choice for all the reasons that you that you said, and it was also um, a piece that Maisie really connected, really connected to. When she got into that character, she had a really hard time. I was her best self. Um, then it was also like, is Justin gonna let us do this? Um, and once he gave us the go ahead, um, we were just thrilled. We leaned into it even more, and everybody was so game to just play and have fun. Guys, Justin even we'll watched that. <laughs> Justin Bieber watched that. Which makes me so ill. Um, but, yeah. And then obviously Maisie's an incredible singer and uh, Teresa Maddie, amazing dancer, so it all it just it just worked out and it felt like it was fate that um, we were able to pull that off and it was And the bears were coming, remember? That was the night they were bears. bears. Yeah, they were there in the woods. They were also there the night we were there, but we just didn't know. <laughs> Um, Aubrey, question about you work on bigger projects. What was magical special about this project? Well, the, I think the people, I mean, um, I love independent films the most um, out of anything. Like it's, like it's, it's all about family. It's like you create this little community and everyone's there for a very pure artistic reason. And um, that's what I like about, about this kind of movie. But for this movie specifically, the, the people. It was pretty clear to me that every one of these people was very special, and um, we had fun. It was like a loving—I don't know. It was—it um, was my fault. It was—it was all the things that I love best about making movies. So. Question about finding the authenticity of young queerness. I think it's all about do, um, talking to lots of people, getting lots of different experiences, doing your homework, asking you know people um, who relate to the characters how it feels to them. Does it feel real? Does it feel authentic to the experience? So I just try to be really open um, through every phase of it, writing it, making it post production, and make sure obviously everyone's experience is different. Um, but I wanted to make sure that Elliot's experience was as authentic and real um, as possible. So I tried to just do as much homework mm -hmm. all the way around as possible. Yeah. Just yeah. Just one more question. Um, I think, furthermore, to piggyback off of that, I think it's also super important that you like have people who actually kind of live the life, or at least have some type of like toe in the pond, a part of it. No, like there's nothing wrong. I mean, we are acting at the end of the day, and like, of course, that. But like, I think with representation, it's just so important to actually have like the real deal, as at least as close as possible, close to the process. Mm -hmm. And so, well, me personally, I, I like identify uh, as pansexual, like uh, Ro, and I just it was it's an honor because I feel like I you never. For a queer person, especially a queer person of color or like a queer person like with disability or what have you, like it's just so rare that like you see yourself as they're trying to portray you on, on the media. So I don't know, it's just, yeah, authenticity is super important. Megan hit that right on the head with the hammer. Before we, uh, well, what a great, what a great Sundance debut. Can we please also shout out these amazing silver shoes? Yeah. 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 Thank you for tonight. Thank you for sharing my own masterpiece with Sundance 2024. Congratulations.